Afghanistan has announced permanent closure of its embassy in India effective from 23rd November. Bankrupt country Pakistan has formally applied to join the BRICS, which is a coalition of developed and developing nations focusing on trade and economic expansion. Indian Defence Secretary and his British counterpart co-chaired the annual India-UK Defence Consultative Group meeting, and they discussed defence industrial cooperation in missile systems electric propulsion and jet engine. The Jaguar Maritime Strike Fighter Jets of Indian Air Force's Dragon Squadron took part in a tri-service exercise in Andaman and Nicobar, and demonstrated the application of air power close to Malacca Strait. Prime Minister Modi will visit Hindustan Aeronautics site in Bangalore today, to review and visit the Tejas manufacturing facility. Prime Minister Modi also conducted a sortie on the Tejas fighter jet, reaffirming the confidence in the country's indigenous capabilities. Zen Technologies has signed MOU with the government of Goa, to establish a state-of-the-art research and development and manufacturing facility in Goa. The Indian government is in talks with two different Israeli companies for anti-drone systems for border security force to counter newer and high-quality drones coming from Pakistan. The Indian Air Force is considering a redesignation as the Indian Air and Space Force, as it would better align with the future of warfare, and will also signal India's commitment to emerge as a major space power. The Chief Director General of Indian Coast Guard has said, that the Coast Guard will place an order for nine more Dhruv Maritime helicopters and six C-295 based maritime surveillance aircraft. Taking lessons from the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the Indian Air Force is looking to develop a low-cost cruise missile that can be mass-produced, and can be launched from fighter jets drones and attack helicopters. The missile should have a range of 150 km, and it will be a cost-effective option to take out low-priority targets. The DRDO has already proposed a range of low-cost cruise missiles based on the SAW, which could be developed with a small turbojet engine and a rocket booster, however, it is also possible that a completely new program may be sanctioned. After confirming the first successful test of the submarine-launched cruise missile earlier this year, the DRDO is advancing its work on the development of an air-launched cruise missile variant that can be launched from fighter jets. The air-launched cruise missile will feature slightly different airframe that will be optimized for air launch, and will be equipped with a terminal seeker that will allow it to home in on its target with high accuracy. It will be able to fly at speeds of max 0.7, and will have a range of over 500 kilometers. The Vice President of Economic Explosives Limited has said, that the company has successfully developed a cutting-edge 125 kg prefragmented bomb for the Indian Air Force, that can be employed against a range of targets, including industries fortifications and light armored vehicles. It will be fully compatible with both existing and future aircraft of the Indian Air Force, and it has been engineered to have a shelf life exceeding 30 years. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has confirmed, that the first of the Project 17 Alpha Stealth frigates will be delivered to the Indian Navy in mid-2024, and the delivery of remaining three frigates will be completed by 2027. Garden Reach Shipbuilders will also deliver the first two Project 17A Stealth frigates in 2025, and the third frigate by 2026. The Director of Finance at Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has said, that the shipyard is intensifying efforts to indigenize a broad spectrum of components of Calvary class submarines, including combat systems, integrated combat systems, attack periscope, search optronics mast, sonar navigation and communication equipment. Out of the 165 major equipment, 30 have already undergone successful indigenization, and the aim is to increase the indigenization content from the current 32% to 60%. Today's top 3 comments. 